I want you to check that out. It's uh, January, probably the 8th here in uh, the upstate of South Carolina, and this bush is blooming, man. We're going to be cutting grass probably next week. Look out there. Look at that grass. Uh, the video you're going to be watching today is basically I'm going to show you how to change out your diff boxes in your C-Hub on your TRX-4, whether it be a Sport, a Bronco, Blazer, even a TRX-6. It's all the same. And uh, we're just going to show you how to do it in this video. In this video, you will see some parts off the truck that you don't need to take off. Unless the video says for you to take it off, don't worry about it. I was just doing multiple upgrades this day, and I didn't want to make two, you know, one long video. I'd rather make two short videos because you might have one guy that just wants to put a little brass on, then you might have another guy that wants to put overdrive and brass on. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoy this video. Yeah, there you go, they unscrew. We'll turn the truck upside down, get the stand out of the way. Yes. So we'll just get the ugga tugga on this one. We'll put this screw here and be careful when you're taking these portal boxes. They come uh, with these little steel washers that go in there to help you from wearing out the plastic. We're like steel bushings. Here's the other steel bushing. If we can get it to focus, yeah. And now we can take the top screws out. This might be a little bit of a hassle. We might have to take uh Take the shocks loose. I think we're just gonna pull the <laughs> end up pulling the whole thing out here before we're done with it. So we can't get in there to them, them top screws with these big old fenders in the way. I guess I could take, yeah, this is a good idea. Let's see if I had a reach. Yeah, I could take these little light covers off. These right here. That's a uh, 2.0 rock light covers. Take the rock light covers off, save you a little time, that way you don't have to pull all that crap apart. Or just open them up a little bit. And put it in there and reach down here. As you see there. Screw. There's a screw with the bushing. All right. I forgot to take the steering loose. I got to take the steering loose too. Dang it. Let's disconnect the steering rod. All this. I need to adjust my GoPro, I guess. Okay, now you just pull the whole portal box and axle out just like that one piece. Leave it all together, just one piece, pull it all out. Now we got to do the other side. worry about this stuff falling there's nothing nothing you can't put back together all right let's take the rock light cover off so we can get to that portal box and as you see we'll try to get down to to this one just like that and take that screw out. That should be it. It should come with a, 
There you go. Another bushing, just like all the other ones. Now we've got to take the steer rod loose. Get it from the yeah, I can get it from the top too. Steering rod right there. You basically you just gotta disconnect all your portal boxes to get in there. If you look your uh, steering rod coming off your servo is on top of your right passenger side portal box. Just keep that in mind when you reassemble it. This will be, probably be your longest screw, so keep that in mind too. And it shouldn't have, I don't believe it's got any kind of bushings because all these have the rods and they're pressed in. So here we just pull out our passenger side portal box and I got it all laying here on the napkin all nice and clean. And what we're going to replace now is we're going to replace the C-hubs with brass ones. That's right. We're going to brass it up, baby. Brass it up. All right. We're going to go ahead and continue this video. I'm going to show you what else we're going to do to this TRX-4. We're going to remove the uh, C-hubs right here and put brass ones on. So what you have to do to do this is remove these three screws right in the center here and you got three screws and I believe they are the 2.0 I'm almost positive they're the 2.0 okay there you go you got three of them just set this piece to the side and somebody one of your buddies might need it and uh, make sure you get the right one. Are they the same? I think they might be the same on either side. Let's see. They look pretty close. Pretty close to being the same. And just slide it on right where you took that one off got it upside down there we go. there you go start your screws back in there back in there Just like that. Okay, they're good to go. We're going to move the uh, GoPro over here. And as you can see here, we've got a fresh portal box. Now these will come with the uh, new uh, C-hubs. So you won't actually use these. And you actually use the screws that come with the C-hubs to uh, use them. Because that bushing would do you no good. These bushings actually go into the C-hub with the flange inward, of course, just like that. That's the way they go in. <clears throat> okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take this diff box apart and change the inner and outer. We're going to put brass on it. So 
So basically we're going to replace that with that. This with this. We'll get another paper towel, get this out of the way. Because it's going to... I don't want to get real crowded in here when I get all them screws out of that portal cover. All right, you got two screws on the front and six on the back. Plus you got three that's holding the bearing in. So I think what we do, we'll just take the screws out of the portal first. I believe they're all a 2.0. Yeah, they're all a 2.0. We'll lay them down here according to where we take them out at. Right now we gotta take our hex nut off. It's a 1.5. Ah, can't do that with my bad hand. And as you can see, it is down in there. I got that bad boy Loctited. Like it's got anywhere to go. Cause once you put that wheel on there, it ain't got nowhere to go. You can't back out unless the wheel gets loose. Okay, now we will just take that wheel nut off. There's one more thing we got to do. We got to take these three bearings out the back. It just holds that washer in. So we'll go ahead and do that now since we've got them, uh, got it in there. Got it all, still got it all together. And that's a 1.5. If you're not, <clears throat> if you're not comfortable doing this, just uh, take pictures along the way on your cell phone. That way you'll have a reference to fall back to when you get stuck. And there you go. That looks, that's a good looking portal right there. That's, that's, the, that's just the right amount of grease. All right. So we got to slide this off this shaft. It goes on the bottom. And this goes in here because I kind of want to keep this stuff in order and I think this I just took one of these out yeah it comes out the back that right there is the reason you can't put overdrive in the portals on the TRX4 because see this gear is kind of machined machined in there there's no way to take that gear off that's one piece but, you know, I don't know what's better, if it's better in the portals or if it's better in the transmission or if it's better in the diff. I don't, I really don't know what's better, but I just know this is the way you got to do it. This is the hardest part of all, of all is getting these little bearings out of these things. Sometimes you can hit them. Uh, let's see, I'm going to pause the camera for a minute. I got to go get my, I got a little hook that I use to take some of them out. I think I can push that one out. Yeah, that one there come, came out easy and push it out. But getting these other ones out sometimes is, can be a little headache. Sometimes you can hit them with a little hammer and get them out, but a lot of times they're hard to get out. Let me get my little hook and I'll be right back. All right, these are the little hooks I was talking about. There's one, needs to be cleaned up. Here's a hook. Here's a different hook, here's a different hook. So you can use these little hooks to get up under that bearing and just rotate it out. See, that one's coming right out, no problem. There's that one. So these two here go on the outer. And then this one. If you rotate it, it will slowly push that bearing out. You don't have to give it a lot of pressure. You just have to have a little bit of patience. There we go. All right. Make sure the one you're replacing kind of looks like the, the one you got, which it don't. Get 
the other one out. That's it right there. I should have brought some scales out here, really done a weight difference for you, but I didn't. That's it. So, what we need to do first is put put that bearing that we just got. I believe it was this one, right? Yeah. Press it in there. And then uh, get our front portal cover, which is right here. Put the other big bearing into the front portal cover, as so. Put the little bearing in the top of the portal cover, like so. Now what we want to do is run this. This is the actual uh, drive shaft or short shaft, whatever you want to call it. It comes out. Put it in through here, just like that. And then you will actually push this through the back of your back portal cover. Just like that. And we're gonna go ahead and put those three screws in there. That way it will stay in there. Let me get my 1.5 if I can find it. Here it is. Put it right there. Ah, oh, it's hard to do. <laughs> it's hard to do with my hand. It's not hard to do if you got, I mean, the baby just hands just a little bit. Don't want to overdo it because it'll be hurting in the morning if I do. And put the other one. Just like that. We won't use no ugga tug on these because they're really fine threads and uh, they're not long screws. So now that you got them all in there, just bump them up a little bit. I've done this same procedure I'm doing here on a bunch of my trucks, and I've never had any problems. Matter of fact, the TRX-4 that I broke the axle on, it don't even have no brass on it at all. It doesn't really need it. All you got left to do is to put this together and put it back on the truck. We're just gonna test fit it for right now. That's a pretty good fit. The more you spend on brass, the better the fit will be in between here. But it, it really, really be honest with you, it don't matter because anything that's going to seep is going to seep in through there. But that's a good fit. I like that. I like that because this ain't real expensive brass. I think it's called Benedict Harry <clears throat> on Amazon. But what we're going to do before we put this back together, we're going to put a little white lithium in there. A little extra grease never hurt nothing. Just a little bit. There we go. A little bit of white lithium. And now we will put all the bolts back in it. All right, I had to change my battery in my GoPro when we did. Uh, let's go ahead and start putting the portal box screws back in. Oh, yeah, this is him. Yeah. They will be a machine screw too, just like on the back of the diff cover. It won't be a cap screw. Let's see, here's a cap screw. It will not be a cap screw. It will be, I believe it's called a machine screw raised up okay we'll just start them 
Okay, they're all tight. Now we'll put the two in the front. See why that one was wanting to give a little bit of problem? It's not because I was sinking the screw too far. The screw was actually rubbing into the, uh, into the uh, front cover here. Which it got in there. It's just life. That's all that is, is life. Same thing here. All right, now we will put our hex nut back on. Just give me a little bit of hard time here. There we go, put it back in. It uses a 1.5. Just drive it right back into place. Make sure it's got a snug, little snug fit to it. All right, then it going nowhere. So there's our portal boxes. Basically, we went, we, we went from this to this. Probably weighs three times as much now. So what we're going to do, this actually goes on the passenger side. So we're just going to build another one. Same exact way we built that one. You don't, I'm going to pause the video right here because this is just the identical process as the other side. All right, now it's time to put the portal boxes on. And uh, as you can see, I've dipped this into a little bit of marine grease. So it created a little seal around the outside here. So we're going to go ahead and put them in. Be sure to put your bushings. There's one there on the bottom. Then you're supposed to put another one in the top. Uh, I don't know where it went to, but I've got, I've got one here till I find that one. And just slide the axle in. You will have to turn it to get it to go all the way in and line up, just like I did there. Put your, I already got my bottom bushing in. Put your top bushing in. Make sure the flanges are at the bottom. And now all you have to do is put your uh, portal screws in. Let's see if I can find which ones. I believe that was them over here. Yep. Sometimes uh, the brass comes with the portal screws, but I just use the stock ones. Unless it's something like Trill. Trill uh, gives you a real premium nice a lot harder steel than what you would find stock i know these are not as good as stock because uh this is a little bit cheaper brass it works but it's just the screws that they give you to put back into portals is not as long as the ones you take out so there is that we'll tighten that down let me see let's use the ugga tugga 
on the top here. A little bad out of frame anyway. Maybe that's the wrong one. I think that's the wrong one. Okay. That's the wrong one. That's way too long. Use the right one. That one was way too long. There we go. It bottomed down on us. There we are. Almost seems like it needs a little bit more, but it ain't going nowhere. Probably going to take this one back out because I'm sure it's not the same size. For the right size. can't see nothing. We're just going through our um, rock light access hole to tighten up tighten up the top of the portal box screw. There you go, and it's in there tight. This is normal. You'll see a little bit of up and down play. That's normal. It's supposed to be there. Just do the other side the same exact way. Take these two, three screws out. Pull that C hub off. Put the brass one back on. Just like that. All right, now we'll just do it just like we did the other side. Put this brass bushing on the bottom. Go ahead and dip this in some marine grease or whatever you want to call it. Just coat the outside of the axle a little bit. Just like that. That stuff stinks. Slide it in there. And turn it until you get it to line up. This portal box here is not turning that well. Let me get something to turn it. It's in a little bind for some reason. I have no idea why. went right in there so we got the bushing on the bottom put the bushing in the top hold it there until you get a screw in it Snug it up a little bit. Well, it ain't gonna matter. We can go ahead and tighten that down, can't okay, we? Tighten it up pretty good. Now go ahead and put your one in the top. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but right in there, see how that grease is kind of making a seal right in there? That kind of seals that axle up a little bit. Not completely, but a little bit. So now we're just going to flip it upside down. And try to get our screw in the top of the portal box. Just 
axles. Let's keep that axle out a little bit. Just like that. All right, got it pretty tight. Now all we gotta do is link up everything in the front end. We'll be good to go. All right, now we got to put this thing in there. Y'all know what this thing is, right? Let's see, on the, which side did I say, the passenger side? Let me check another truck over here. I think that's the passenger side. Yeah, passenger side, that comes on top. So the, the truck is upside down. That's the driver's side. This is the passenger side. So we need one long screw to go all the way through here. And I've got it right here. And y'all can't see that. And this screw will go right through the top. Not sure which one it'll go in. Let me see if I can eyeball it because this has got two screw holes uh, instead of one. I'm going to say it goes to the inside holes. Okay. So we take the long screw, put it in here. Just like that. Put your connected rod in there. Put the packing screw out just to... There we go. I'll start your screw back in it. I should have left them things loose. I forgot. Still got to tighten these screws up. And now what you will do is just tighten that up. Go ahead and leave that loose until you do that. Leave your uh, four link loose to you do that. We got it anyway. And now the only other thing to do is to connect this. And I think it connects just like that. There's my other I like this brass, it's, it's threaded on both ends, both ends of the shear, the top and the bottom. Yeah, that's good. So now we gotta got it back where we got something to work with. So all we gotta do now is put the tires on. We'll put the tires on. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, this is a hard video to edit. It's really hard to edit. I'm gonna probably get better at it as I do more of them. It's hard to film too, but I 
I think as long as I get my camera set up right and get a switcher real easy to switch, I think it won't be no problem. But uh, if y'all like this video, hit that like button, share, subscribe, whatever. And remember till next time, I love you, but God loves you more.